There's some mixed messaging regarding the artificial sweetener aspartame. Today, the World Health Organization said it might cause cancer, but in moderation, it's safe. Mm. Health reporter Stephanie Stahl <laughs> here to unpack the conflicting right. information, but it can do some <laughs> real damage to your. Well, it can. I mean, if you drink too much of anything. <laughs> I just think aspartame stomach ache. That's what I think. Right. Well, this is, you have to drink 14 cans of soda to have yeah, anything a that a day wow. for cancer. Now, a couple might hurt your stomach. I don't know about that. Everybody's got a different system here. Let me tell you about this study. The bottom line here is there isn't any definitive research proving aspartame causes cancer. But the World Health Organization says it's possible, but... You don't need to eliminate it from your diet. It's 200 times sweeter than sugar and the world's most widely used artificial sweetener. Aspartame is found in about 6,000 products worldwide, from diet soda to flavored water to yogurt. The World Health Organization's cancer agency now says aspartame is a possible carcinogenic, citing limited evidence for a type of liver cancer. But according to its own hazard classification, confidence in the assessment was low, admitting more research is needed. And this shouldn't really be taken as a direct statement that indicates that there is a known cancer hazard from consuming aspartame. Another group of experts from the WHO's Food Additive Committee concluded there is no convincing evidence aspartame is dangerous if people don't consume more than 40 milligrams per just over two pounds of their body weight, meaning the average American would need to drink more than a dozen cans of diet soda a day to be at risk. Results uh, do not indicate that occasional consumption should pose uh, a risk to most consumers. Experts say aspartame is a safe and important alternative to sugar. And obesity accelerates just about every disease, whether it's cancer, type 2 diabetes, hypertension, and so on. And so there's a reason that we want to reduce sugar consumption. The FDA that approved aspartame decades ago is criticizing the WHO findings and reiterated its longstanding position that the sweetener is safe. Now, the American Cancer Society is calling for more research on aspartame and advises consumers to watch their intake. So if you're concerned about this bottom line, diet products, any kind of diet product okay. will have or might have some of this aspartame in it. I always tell my wife, just real sugar, just less, less of it. There you go. Yeah, yeah. That's a plan. So maybe, maybe you should be a health reporter. Maybe I won't. No, <laughs> no, time, thanks. I don't need any help. <laughs> <laughs> I love that stuff. I love when he says, wait, a week? And we go, no. no a day. People really do drink that. You need to specify these things. Yes. Yeah. Thank, Thank you for the clarification. <laughs> Thank you both. <laughs>